Welcome back. We're getting in on this traditional arena cube draft. Otherwise known as best of three. Which is really what you wanna what you wanna do. I drafted this deck early 1-0, then 0-2, then I finished the draft 6-0. 7-2. Wow, with a Bomac Courier in this deck, huh? Oh, it's like a blue-red deck? That makes sense. I mean, the blue-red decks are favor- are, are like, ag aggressive red decks are usually pretty well, well, uh... They perform well, is what we're getting at. Firestarter, thank you so much for the resub. Not the Plague, thank you so much for the resub. You guys are awesome. Am I the only one ready? Nope, they're all ready. All right. Okay, best of three. The way Richard Garfield intended. I kind of just want to take Breeding Pool here. Nothing else is super exciting. I wonder if we take Tajik if Feather will table. I don't care. <laughs> eh. Who's Richard Garfield? Buddy, if you gotta ask. <clears throat> I think it's... I want to take Breeding Pool. I love fixing lands in this format, and that's a good one. Uh, Scoot Swarm is pretty sweet, but I think I actually just like Land War Visionary better. I think it's just a more well-rounded card. And, like, if a Shia, Scoot Swarm, Disdainful Stroke, Great Shark, or Savage Stomp comes back, I'm pretty okay with that. Ooh. Turn to Symbiosis is nice. Mouth to Feed's also not terrible. I don't know if I like Ronus in this format. Hmm. Ro. Let's get the Symbiosis. That's a nice pick. That's a nice one, huh? A Rootbound Crag or Spire Bluff Canal. I'll just take Finale. Uh, I wonder if we can build around Garrick's Uprising. There's also a Ketria Triome. Hmm. Gary. Let's just take Garrick's Uprising and see if we can build around it a little bit. <clears throat> um, I mean, the only card in here that we ever care about is Resilient Kenra, I think. But also, when we Eternalize this guy... It will trigger Garrick's Uprising. I'm really mesmerized by these. They're really satisfying to look at. They're so they're such simple animations. But I'm just like, oh wow, that's great. <laughs> so we have Find Finality and Overgrown Tomb. I think Fine Finality might be better, even though Overgrown Tomb is fantastic. Like, just being able to go to just grab two creatures back. I'm going to take Overgrown. <sighs> Could just be Wilt, too. I'm going to take the Wilt. Feels weird, but I'm going to take it. <clears throat> lay Claim? Oh, yeah, we're taking the Lay Claim. That card is, has brained us way too many times. I don't think we're an Armorcraft Judge deck. Um, Like, none of these... No, I'll just take the in Inscription of Insight. <coughs> Yo, what up, BSP? So we got Savage Slump and Disdainful Stroke back. That's pretty good. I don't know how many dinosaurs are in this cube is, is the thing. I don't think there are many, so I think this is literally just a three-mana fighter. It's a three-mana hunt the week. Hmm. I might just want Disdainful Stroke, actually. All right. We have Mouth to Feed and Ronus, so I think we're clearly in the right colors here. I'm going to take the Ronus. Eh, Sure. Easy Vastwood. Cubes are definitely singletons, yes. 
Well, yeah, so the problem when Richard, when Richard Garfield made Magic, there was nothing like it. So he didn't assume people were just going to buy cards by the box, right? He would be like, oh, everyone, you'll pick up a pack every now and then and add it to your collection and you'll have new cards that you haven't seen and your friends won't know what they are. But then it just became way too popular and people just started opening boxes and boxes. And uh, it became a, 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 almost a different game from what he was planning on it being. I just want to let you know that earlier today when the viewer count dropped by one, that it wasn't because you got frustrated. It was because I went to work. Chanel, I appreciate that. That's good to know. That's good to know. A lot of three drops here. Oh, a lot of two drops, actually. Not as many three drops. That's that's actually pretty good. The find finality came back as a last pick? Oh, my goodness. Oh, my God. Mm-hmm. You don't need to use the whole card. It's true. I love Scarab God here. I think I'm just taking the Scarab God and hoping to splash it. I mean, I think Plain Wide Celebration will probably come back. Oh, Vivian's great in this format. I get wrecked by Vivian regularly. Um <laughs> Steelers. What are you talking about? Was that basketball? Garrick Unleashed is kind of meh. I think it's Rishkar's expertise here. Elder Gargaroth. That's the kind of fat we want for this deck. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. If Kiora or Gilded Goose comes back, I'll be thrilled. <clears throat> this guy's also very good. Angurus. Plus, he's a 4 4, so he triggers Garrick's Uprising. And what was the other card? Wasn't there another four four mana four four power relevant card? Guess not. I guess I just made that shit up. Solemn Simulacrum? Deal. Simply having a wonderful Christmas time. Yeah, this pack's kind of meh. What are we looking at for Traxos here? We got 27 seconds, huh? Uh, one, two, three, four. You know what? I'll take it because I think it's the best card in this pack for us, but I'm not sold on it. Wolf Willow Hall Haven is pretty good. I was going to call it Hollow. Oh, look, the Plain Wide Celebration came back just as we anticipated. Um, nah, none of these cards are exciting. I'm going to take Field of Ruin because I've just faced off against too many Field of the Deads. Ram through is fine. What up, Aceru? Oh, Kiora came Not back? That's like a better Garrick's Uprising, I think. It's like a Garrick's Uprising that still gets you the cards, but it also ramps you, which is really kind of nice. <clears throat> Um, eh, take the rogue. I'll take that rouge. Ooh, demonic pact. Ooh, anointed procession. All right, what do we got here? Nessian horn beetle is okay. Decent two drop. Nothing else. Field of the dead itself, of course. The one time we're not really in a position to take a field of the dead. Did you mark any of the gifts you got from Mike B from Santa? 
Well, I am Santa. So, yes. Yeah, I'm just taking horn wheel here. We have like one non basic, so I'm not really. <clears throat> Sublime Epiphany, huh? Is Vizier of the Menagerie any good? Like, I'm never super impressed with it, but I think it's actually just kind of fine. I'm not sure I'm in for Sublime Epiphany in our, in our deck. We already also have a, a pretty pretty big top end with Lay Claim, Plain Line Celebration, Rish Cars, Expertise, etc. I'm just going to take the Vizier. Oh yeah, Questing Beast is kind of like exactly what we're looking for here. Hopefully... Temple of Mystery comes back. Wayward Swordtooth, another creature. I kind of like a Wayward Swordtooth here, actually. That seems great. It triggers our things. Zagoth Triumph is kind of exactly what I wanted. So we can splash this Scarab God. We also have uh, Solemn Simulacrum, so we can put a green, uh, Swamp in here. Simply having a wonderful Christmas time. I'm just going to take Platinum Angel. Like, this card's just fine. <clears throat> See, and now I'd have to main board Wilt. <clears throat> main deck Wilt. Oh, God, you guys got me saying main board for a second. When we have Angurious... Angurus, Anguirus, and also Vivian Reed. So we're kind of like, eh, I don't really need that. Um, I feel like Scavenging is actually pretty useful. Because <coughs> Ondu Mammoth, unfortunately, is only a 3-3. Three, three. But it does become a 5-5. Five, five. Gambler has enlisted the sleep demons to take Michael. I think we're just taking Sphinx here. Again, it's a four it's a four toughness, four power creature, so I'm gonna take golden egg, whatever. Elvish Rejuvenator? Wow, I actually like that a lot. <clears throat> so we have twenty eight cards, two lands. So this is actually 26 cards. We only need three cuts. Which is not terrible. Simply... I don't really care about Resilient Kenra, I'll be honest. Also, Turn Timber Symbiosis and Vastwood Fortification are also lands. I don't care about Finale either. <clears throat> so I'm pretty sure that's actually good enough for now. I mean, Castle Garenberg is playable. For sure. It's alright, actually. It's not great for our deck, to be honest. Unless we're playing two green creatures on the same turn. Simply having a wonderful Christmas time. <clears throat> oh, Primal Might came back? <clears throat> I was actually hoping the Primal Might would come back. That's a very good card. Alright. I like our deck. Michael, if you don't sleep, Santa won't visit. That's true. Okay, so you're a land, and Vastwood Fortification is a land. So we need two cuts. Wait, so 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. <clears throat> we have literally one black card. <laughs> uh, we definitely don't need three of these. One, two, three, four, wonderful Christmas time. Oh, wait, we just need one. I'm going to go on ham. Just add a million. So 
So right now this is 11, I can't, I can't actually hover over it while I count, unfortunately. I'll move these over. Oh, it doesn't let me do that. Sounds good. Move these over. 5, 6, 7, 13, 14, 15, and then 16, 17 lands. I'd like an 18th land, so I think we need one cut here. <clears throat> I mean, it might just be Disdainful Stroke. Disdainful Stroke lets us deal with things that we might not otherwise be able to deal with. Wait, this is 40 cards? 13, 40, 15, 16, 17. This is 19 lands? Wait, why do we need to... Did I accidentally cut something? That I wanted to keep in the deck? Hmm. Well, this is 40, and we have 6, 7, 9 green sources, and... Se uh, hmm. Including these, we have actually 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 green sources to 7 blue sources. I'm going to cut one green for one blue here. This is what? 6, 7, 8, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. I mean, that seems fine. I guess I have we have Visionary, Rejuvenator, Kiora, Wolf of Haven. Yeah, I think this is fine. Oh yeah, snap keep. <laughs> Man, I haven't seen Rob in ages, dude. Yeah, I don't want to like uh, hope I hit a fourth land and then miss a. Oof, nice. Oh, lock it. Your OP is named Booty Flute. That's true. Our opponent is named Booty Flute. And that's a thing, alright. I'm just gonna play Kiora. She'll take two, but that's fine. Obviously, we hope to draw Elder Gargroth, Questing Beast, or... Well, I can't. Okay, well, I guess she takes four now. Oh, they're just going to pace. I mean, Wayward Swordtooth is a guy. Something happy world of Christmas time. Oh, uh, yeah, pay zero. Confirm zero. <clears throat> See, that seemed that was a good turn. That was a good turn. <laughs> good enough for them to concede. Wow, wayward sword tooth. And this is why you want to play best of three, my dudes. Because now I know they're playing a slightly aggressive deck, so I can board in things that uh, play well against aggressive decks, like Scavenging Ooze. It should be obvious. I don't really have to explain why you play. We can take out, like, probably Lay Claim. That's a little much, but Find Finality could be good here.
Yeah, seems good. <clears throat> oh boy. We do want to hit more lands here. They gotta fight as one here? Sure. You got it. Not bad. Um, play this guy. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Hmm. I mean, we don't have five, so it's definitely coming to play untapped, and the six mana from Garenbrig doesn't do anything. Lock here, we take two, three, four, five. It's not great. They only have two cards. That could be good. I think we have to play Solemn here because it... It puts us one away from being able to uh, plain wide Celebration, which could gain us like 16. They also only have eight damage on board, so... Uh, what do we got? One, two, we've got a lot of green, a lot of blue. I'm just going to get a second Black Source. Should be fine. We can also just draw a fine finality, that'd be pretty sweet. Okay, they are exerting four, five, six, seven. I mean. Great two two proliferate. Yeah, we're just gonna block here. Thank you. <clears throat> this guy can't untap next turn, so that's fine. J Money, thank you for the resub, buddy. Really appreciate it, my dude. Hi, future me. <laughs> Love it. Love it. Uh, yeah, take that action. There we go. Also, Rishkar's expertise lets us draw five and then cast a spell with Kermanus five or less. Hmm. Doesn't gain us life though, and I'm kind of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we can actually make two two citizens and gain eight, and then that also gives us uh the city's blessing. One, two, three, four. We have seven mana. This is six. No, I think we just want a plain wide celebration. Uh, create a citizen. Create a citizen, gain four, gain four. God, if they counter this, we're just so done. Yep, you got it. <clears throat> yep, City's Blessing is on. <laughs> Wonderful Christmas time. Oh, I think they realized the Wayward Source 2 can now block. Oh, 
<laughs> That's very good. Okay, they just <laughs> plain wide celebration, my dudes. Oh man, and to risk Rishkar's expertise, exactly what we want to be doing. Dude, I can't explain it. Like, the difference between best of one and best of three to me is, like, night and day. Like, when I play best of one, I feel like wins are stolen from me. And when I play best of three, I feel like I get to work for my, my wins and losses. You know what I mean? I mean, obviously, things are still going to go awry every now and then, but... Wonderful Christmas time. Um, we're on the draw. I'm gonna keep this. We, we can play Kiora and Disdainful Strip. Why? Why would I draw another island there? One green source, and I'm actually. It's, oh, that's a green source. Give me a little bug. They countered my little bug. That's a sad day. Little bug. Um, let's play Kiora. The nice thing about Ronus, the nice thing about these gods, these new Amonkhet gods, is that they are creatures. Um, whereas like if you if you play Heliod and you don't have enough devotion, it's not a creature. It is a uh spell. It's an enchantment, right? So like. The nice thing about these is that I can cast Ronus, and it counts for both Kiora and Rishkar's expertise. But we do get to play Ronus. We get to draw a card, untap a land with Kiora, keep up Disdainful Stroke for their four, and then have enough mana for Rishkar's expertise. Actually, that guy might just be better to play here. No, I think it's still Ronus. And the reason being, like... The reason being, I do want to keep Disdainful Stroke up here. The ocean surges, life thrives. Like, if they play a Gaunti or something, I want to be able to counter that. You got it. Now I'm they didn't play anything. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven. This would be eight. We get to play one more land for nine. Play a land on top of green souls. Love to make a splash. Hmm. So one, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine. This actually gives us the um Yeah, that gives us City's Blessing, which is pretty nice. Christmas time. I don't know if I want to attack here. I think I'm on the no attacks plan for now. Like this guy's... I don't want to block with either of these. Oh, they just passed the turn and let us go. That's kind of cool. One, two, three, four, five, six. Vivian Reed on top. I mean, they didn't counter either of these last turn, right? So, like... Hmm. 
One, two, three, four. One, two. So we'd have a one mana up. This would draw us a card, though. Fuck it. YOLO. Oh my god, it resolved? Oh boy. Um. Let's drop a beast. See, like, we're spending a lot of time now protecting Vivian, but I really don't think we should be, so... Pretty good. Who did they target? Oh, they targeted Ronus? Sure. Still fine. <laughs> um, yeah, we're just gonna pass and keep up Disdainful Stroke. Simply having wonderful Christmas time. Yep. I always feel like I'm getting patient patient rebuilding put against me on turn five, so. We also had Anguirus. We could have actually kept it. shield. Hmm. Um, sure. Done. I mean, even if they, like, wipe the boards off. <laughs> Forest? Okay. Like, even if they wipe the boards somehow, we still have... Vivian Reed and Kiora, so that's cool. I guess we're just going to attack. I don't know what's happening right now. One little Christmas time. No one knows the wilds like I do. Let's get a flying bird. Draw a solemn simulacrum. Yeah, for sure. End the turn. Okie dokie. Weren't they at two? I'm pretty sure they were at two life, not one life. I'd, I also don't think Bee Sting is in the... Wait, does Bee Sting deal two? Am I thinking of Hornet Sting? Are you thinking of Unaro Bee Sting? I think that's what it's called. Interesting. B. Let's look up Sting. That's probably easier. I don't think this is anything real. Bee Sting deals two damage for four mana... It is a sorcery. But when I search for bee sting. Oh, there it is. Oh yeah, Unaro Bee Sting is literally the same thing, just not um not a fake set. Yeah, that's good stuff. So what I'm seeing here is that when you draw a mix of lands and spells, you tend to do well in this. Yeah. I mean that's I feel like that's generally true in my magic history. Not to say I'm some perfect player by any means, but I, I, def I, I definitely uh, 
I definitely do better when I draw the correct number of lands and spiels. Mm -hmm. Wonderful Christmas time. I mean, they can just mill us for seven on turn three without any pressure from us. That's pretty interesting. Oh, they can't mill us for seven. Got that essence scatter? You do not. Alrighty then. I mean, the thing is, now that we have Questing Beast on board, if they ever want to spend three for Folio of Fancies, like, it's going to be a significant commitment. So I feel like they do have to take, like, a turn off to deal with our Questing Beast. And then we get to play Vizier. Oh, they highlighted it. I mean, I'm under no impression Questing Beast is going to survive, but... Wonderful Christmas time. Hmm. Do I have an answer for that? Yes, I guess I can bounce it. Alright, now we have a million mana. Like, we can actually bounce this, attack them for four again. I don't think that's great, though. I also don't want them to just play it, though. I guess that's a bigger concern, right? Well, if they play it, we can actually bounce it then. Hmm. Like, this at least prevents them from attacking with Hostage Taker. They could definitely play... Yep, cool. So we can actually bounce our own questing beast here. Ah, uh, no blocks. And we get to scry? Scrying is nice. Okay. Okay. We're gonna just keep that guy on the top. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six. We have seven mana next turn. <laughs> I'm looking forward to this for for kick. This for kick. Eh, no blocks. I'm still just gonna take four here. Wonderful Christmas time. But eight mana does let us activate it twice. We only have one swamp though. And there's no creatures in any graveyard, so. Oh, wow. They didn't do anything. Um, yeah, I'll keep Primal Might, actually. Hmm. Lay claim is interesting. Oh, there's the there's the try. I was actually hoping to try them because we'd double our black sources, but well, we have eight mana, so we can easily kick this for like a billion. They're cycling it. Oh, that's great because they only have four mana, so the odds of them laying claim is pretty low. All right. I mean, they have a million cards in hand. Like, yeah, I don't care about that. 
neither of those are exciting. They just hit three lands? Sure. gonna bottom that. Oh, Ronis seems real good off the top. Jeez. Um, I think we're just kicking this. They have one mana, two mana, I guess. Uh, return. Do all of the things. You and not you. Probably you. Target a player. Mond of Christmas time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, obviously I have negate. Coolsville, daddy -o. I mean, they're at eight, so they have to block Scarab God with something. If they block it with Questing Beast, then we just get our Scarab God back. Sure. And they're just dead on board of the Sphinx anyway, so. Well, if we bounce the speed, the Sphinx, it, it doesn't. Uh, just that guy, sure. It doesn't go back to, I mean, it doesn't go back to the, we have to replay it, basically. And I think the value on this to draw two and, like, make a 5-5 five five was better than just having Sphinx in play, but, or, uh, <laughs> Questing Beast in play. Yeah, that's a good one. Wonderful Christmas time. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine mana. So we can Rish Car for to draw five. I'm sure, we'll hit a land here. Um, <laughs> cast a spell. Uh, Ronus, and then we're going to play Angurius on the Elvish Rejuvenator to kill the Gear Hulk. They can't actually block the Vizier here. They have to block Angurus and trade. No, they actually have to block Scarab God. Which means you just get Scarab God back. But I'm pretty sure we're going to 4-0 this, this draft so far. Yep, that's it as your only possible option. And now they have Hostage Taker and Noxious Gear Hulk in the graveyard, so when we recast Scarab God, we can immediately get one of them back. Like, it's, it's pretty done. I mean, this guy's indestructible, so... Indestructible 4-4 is pretty hard for a black-red, black-blue deck to deal with. Like, you can't destroy it, and you can't negative 5, negative 5 it, because I think the highest denomination is neg 4, neg 4. And, you know, we have Scarab God to turn, to turn him back on. You have 22 cards, I have... 14. I mean, this guy gives trample, so what's the deal? And you have trample naturally. 
Hulk Trickster. Oh, you're tapped out. Okay, but it's still a 4-4, four, four, right? Okay. I was like, I don't get it. It doesn't lose power and toughness. <laughs> Same thing. I mean, Ronus fighting questing beast. Actually, yeah, that would have been pretty decent. But there's a lot going on. No green sources, but I'm I'm faith I'm 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 not faithful as so we're looking for like can't think of the word. Hopeful? No. Confident. I'm confident we'll draw one. Okay, well that'll do good in the turn or so. If we can get a green here, that'd be great, because then we can play Kiora. satisfying oh no green and no land whatsoever actually which is actually even better this is so this is it this is it we go 4-0 and in the third round we can't actually draw a third land so it all it's all making sense it's all coming together everything is uh, as it should be in the world well we can play kiora don't bite if I take my octopus for a and if we hit a land next turn we can play scarab god or if we had a green, we could play Questing Beast. Both of which draws cards. So that's kind of cool. Wolf Will Haven is also great with Kiara. Paul McCartney's Wonderful Christmas Time is basically about friends practicing witchcraft and then someone walks in and they have to play. Okay, guys. Just take it easy. Ugh. Oh, of course it's not a land. So I've missed, what, two land drops so far? Maybe three? We played first, so they're going to play their six. Oh, they, they also ramped one, so we've missed two land drops. Hi, you just killed me. Good games. Good games. G guards. <laughs> okay, they didn't play anything. Well, we're definitely keeping that on top. Okay. I'm going to tap you and you. Put it on you. Moving. I don't know what to play here. Maybe just Vivian Reed? Drop a quester. Ho oh, ho, it's your boy! Yep, if we had one more land, it would be a different game. We got one, two, three, four, five, six. We have seven total mana. Now we have five total mana, assuming you kill Kiora, which you are doing right now. I didn't feel like fighting anyway. Yeah, we're just way too far behind. Like they have fucking answers for everything now. Would have loved to concede in response to that, but Arena is super efficient. 
uh, form of playing magic. They have three cards. They have two cards. I mean, that doesn't do anything. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's unfortunate. Yeah, we're just gonna keep uh, Stainful Stroke up knowing that we don't actually draw land. You know I have this. they do. Why wouldn't they? That makes total sense. Yeah, if you have, if you need to counter at every single point of the game where I would have a, a play, I, I, it doesn't make sense that you wouldn't have that. So it all checks out. <laughs> Guys, the first game we lose, we don't get to draw three lands. So I don't know. Do the math. Simply having a wonderful Christmas time. Ch -ch -ch -ch. Uh, snap key. Alright, they went to six. So they're basically dead. What are these three orbs down here? our Elvish Rejuvenator doesn't whiff. Oh, it did not. And Ender's Battlefield tapped, right? So, I like that it asks you. It's like, hey, you want to play this? I'm like, no, man, that's bad juju. Two, three, four, five. Yeah, you got it. The moon is up. Simply having a wonderful Christmas time. Oh, that's pretty sweet. We can actually draw uh, one. So if we go, so we can go one, two, three, four, five. I wish I could see the lands they're gonna tap, but I can't because it's literally covered by this thing. One, two, three, four, five.
wonderful Christmas time. I hope they have voracious. No, they don't. They only have four mana. Oh, they're going to supreme build this guy. Yep. Sounds good. But it did not sound good. Interesting. Uh, let's take Elder Gargaroth. For sure. That's good. Hover over all my lands. Totally normal thing to do. Mythos of Nethroi. Yep. Still drew a card. I like that she says I'm not dead yet when she's literally she's dead. Like that's literally what what happens in the in the game. These guys are just going to keep doing work, I guess. Now I feel like it's a great, great shark, and we're gonna have to dodge it with this gargaraw. Here we go. You ready? Great shark. Nah, bra. Wonderful Christmas time. That's a good dude. I mean, they're tapped out now. This isn't a profitable block for them, so... Six. <laughs> what do we got here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Wonderful Christmas time. I mean, I was trying to put them in position where they, if they block a 2-2, two -two, they, they take 6 from Gargaroth and 2 from the other 2-2 two -two and go to 1. So I wanted to disincentivize them from... Uh, I wanted to maximize the damage they're going to take, and, like, Vastwood is not going to do much outside of that. Really don't love this hand. Um, oof. I do kind of like that, though. Also, if they just start countering my things, like... Like, find, final find finality is pretty decent in that situation. By a wayward sorty boy. I don't care about that really at all. Oof. Don't have a black source though. Oh, yes, we do, because of Vizier. Oh, they didn't do anything? Hmm. 
Yeah, this is actually fine because we do have fine finality, so if they want to like Supreme Will this, totally fine. Interesting. Okay. Yep, you got it. I mean, if they don't hit a land here, it's actually great for us, because then they can't... Never mind. Mm -hmm. So just to be clear, if we... Maybe we should have actually Disdainful Stroked that. I kind of forgot it was being cast, to be honest with you. I'm kind of dumb. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven... Eight total mana. I think Gargaroth is actually pretty sweet here. God, that's so bad. We should have definitely countered that. I feel really dumb right now. That's going to cost us the game. We have no black source for the finality half. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight total mana. Getting back to preachers does nothing. It's actually a, I mean, like. Okay. I mean, I want to keep Finality, because if they start getting back 4-4s, four four, so I want to be able to kill everything and potentially get a Scarab God block out of it. Yeah, that's actually fine. Wow. You got it. And we also get a hit with Gargaroth, which is pretty sweet here. Scrabble God comes back to us when it dies. Yes, there's no way. Well, because there's no way it goes to their hand. Wow, that was insane. So, one, two, three, four. This is five, six, seven, eight, nine. So, we want this to be a ten. So, we want to hit this guy for four. You can stay home. Let's draw a card. Vivian reads a good one. What? How did I forget about this guy? Eh, it doesn't matter. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, sure. It does even if we put him up too high, it would still be at zero and it would still trade, but. So we have three mana. We can cast Find Finality on our next turn. Yeah, that was actually a fantastic turn. Yeah, all right. Well, you get Scarab God, but that's not even the best card. Well, no, what I mean is it is the best card, but it's like that's not going to do a lot against us. Are they taking Disdainful Stroke? They might have Voracious Great Shark, and they're just going to take the Disdainful Stroke in order to resolve their Great Shark. Yep, that's that's the strategy.
Uh, Great Shark is only creature artifact, yes. But, I mean, that counters Scrabble God, Sphinx. Vivian does, but they might just... <laughs> I see. I see. Well, that's pretty good. Oh boy, that's rough. It's all coming together now. What can we hit? Four, five, six, we have eight total mana. This would be seven, or we have nine total mana. So we can go like Vivian and Sphinx. We can get Hostage Taker back, one, two, three, four, and then just like play whatever they take if they have a land. Jesus, this is so bad. Yep, wish there wasn't a rope here, but there is. Really don't feel like I'm taking a tremendous amount of time, but... I don't think I'm going to play this as a land yet. Yeah. Yep. So they're not going to have six mana to bring that back this turn, so we do have a chance to kill uh, pretty much everything if we... Oh, no, we don't have Fine Finale anymore. Like, Ram Through is what we're looking for here? Ugh. Yep, we also take seven and go to two, and then they have one zombie during their upkeep. They can get a second zombie. So we're basically dead here. That does nothing, unfortunately. I can put it on here, but then, like, that doesn't kill this and it doesn't threaten their life in any way. Ronus doesn't do it, Elvish Rejuvenator doesn't do it, Psalm Simulacrum. There's the ram through, so. Yep. Yeah, we're just dead on board. Alright. A typical 2 1. Never surprised. Lost game one because we could not find lands. And uh, thanks for watching, guys. Really appreciate it. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. Still a better experience than the best of one. And uh, be sure to. Support the channel in some way, shape, or form. Hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button. Go to Twitch and use your Twitch Prime sub. Show some kind of love, and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.